Staying in the news, the First Lady Aisha Buhari has donated food items, hand sanitizers and face masks to widows and vulnerable women to cushion the effect of the COVID-19 lockdown. The Minister of Women Affairs, Mrs. Pauline Tallinn, on Thursday in Abuja, said the palliative was donated by the wife of the President to be distributed to the beneficiaries through the ministry, who had the records of vulnerable and widows. Tallinn therefore urged the representatives of the women group to make judicious use of the palliative and to ensure that the most vulnerable and needy women in the various groups benefited from the gesture. The Rotary Club International has commenced distribution of palliatives to over 30 rural, rural communities in Abuja. Officials of the humanitarian organization said their gesture of goodwill is aimed at supporting the federal government and helping reduce the suffering being experienced by the poor in Abuja as they obey government's lockdown directive. Our correspondent, Edong Joseph, reports. With the lockdown being hard on residents within the federal capital, Several organizations have taken the initiative to support the federal government in its quest to reach out to the poor and needy. One of such organizations, the Rotary Club International, visited Chafuyi community in Abuja to distribute palliatives to the poorest of the poor. They say they are concerned with the increasing level of hunger, as many rural residents cannot fend for themselves. There's hunger in the land. People are, are down. And we decided also to undertake palliatives in all the states of the Federation through the Rotary Clubs. Um, for what we are doing today, is part of that palliative uh, provision we are doing, but our Nation Nigerian National Polio Plus Committee um, also made this available today for us to give to the 30 communities we have adopted through our various Rotary Clubs. Several representatives of the Rotary International say their gesture of goodwill will be a continuous process. We have done such thing last Monday, we are doing today, and we are going to do again within the week. But um, on a larger scale, we are going to also provide some of these other equipment, like the personal protective equipment, and sanitizers, and all the surgical materials to the Presidential Task Force. The only way to help them to stay at home is to you know, support them in this our only tool, giving them the food items that normally takes them out. Let's bring it to them so that they, they stay at home and don't contract this virus because as we all know, the NCDC said it's now a community spread phase we are experiencing. So they ha we have to find a way to make them stay at home and not just to give them the palliatives, also to educate them about the disease. If you go around, you notice that some of them do not really know what COVID is. If you ask them, they just tell you, oh, they ask us to stay at home. They don't even know why government wants us to stay at home. But they don't know these things. So we have to also educate them as we give them the palliative. We tell them, look, there's need for you to stay at home because there's a killer disease that is going, killing like wildfire out there. Some of the beneficiaries expressed their gratitude, saying it has come at a very important time. I'm so grateful, you understand? Because this time is so hard for many people now, you understand? But we are so grateful for these spaghettis that they give unto us. We have been expecting much from government, but no one. And now you have come to our aid. We, so much, we are so much grateful. I thank you very well. Wherever you bring it, God will replenish it 100 folks for you people. Yeah. Thank God as you receive this thing. May God continue to bless you people more more. We don't have any other thing, but as you see you people, be very grateful. May God bless any pockets where you come out from and may God increase them. And this little one where they give us, may God give them more. And God also to bless us so that we can also give to other people. The Rotary Club also called on well meaning Nigerians to emulate their gesture of goodwill and provide for the poor. Idong Joseph, Plus TV, Africa.